Yo, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Nanny Phantom and yes, welcome back to the channel guys. We have yet another UPBA week and this time we are in week 5. So if you guys did not check out week 4 or any of the weeks prior, um, I'll put a little like um, annotation or something on the top uh, right of the screen. You can click that and it'll take you to the playlist of all the other weeks just so you can check it out. Um, because again, every battle after, uh, after the... Pr uh, past battle i always end up just talking about it so in case you don't want any spoilers um go just make sure you go check that out um but last week we did end up losing um to foxitor and it was a it was a pretty close battle i lost to the hail at the end um which was the thing that kind of saved me to begin with but then ended up making me lose which is fine because i could have not won anyways if i didn't have the hail um but this week we are going up against um lieutenant gold and his Los Angeles Aegislash. Um, so make sure you guys do check out his side of the channel. He's a really cool dude. So far, I've just chatted with him like over like the chat, and he's been pretty nice. Um, he's been able to really come together when it comes to my schedule. It was a little weird this past week, but he he actually let me battle a little bit later, which is always good. Um, but um, let's go into the team. Um, but always like always, make sure you guys do drop a nice like and subscribe if you are new. Um. Uh, that's always always very much appreciated and just leave a comment down below let me know uh what you think about the battle and other things like that just so uh, again i always chat with you guys in the comments and i just love being there with y'all so make sure you do drop something just for me all right um but let's go into the really quick team builder and i'm just gonna read out the team that um lieutenant gold can possibly bring um so he can bring salamence tapacoco blissey heracross obstagoon bronzong delmise alolan raichu seismitoad arctazolt charizard and auroras um so that's pretty much his roster um the the ones that i think I, that i think he's gonna bring is um hold on i had it down here yes yeah, so obstagoon salamence coco seismitoad and bronzong i think are Five that are definitely coming um and then the last spot can kind of just be kind of anything really um it can it can pretty much be anything that he wants it to be um so it's a toss-up because blissey could be really annoying um delmice could be a little annoying i think he'll probably bring blissey though because he kind of needs something else for uh, Gengar. I mean, not Gengar. I don't have Gengar in this league. Um, something else for like my special attackers, like let's say for Necrozma and things like that. Um, so I think he he has to bring the the Blizzy. The Blizzy, I think, would just be very annoying for us. Um, but let's go over the team. Enough rambling on. Let's go over the team I'm bringing again. I'm going to try to be as quick as possible. Let me just get all the EVs up here for me so I can just see them. Okay, so first up, as you do see, we have Necrozma. Um, pretty much a Dragon Dance, Photon Geyser, Moonlight, Break Break. Uh, we do have Lumberry, so this one's um, a, a little bit like the one from last week, except instead of extra, Expert Bell, we have Lumberry. Um, as long as we can weaken down the Bronzong before this comes in, this thing's going to be really, really effective. Uh, Dragon Dance, we're max attack. Uh, break Break will destroy the Obstagoon, and, it pretty, and then... Uh, Photon Geyser kind of hits everything else that we needed to hit, so that's always pretty good. That's Necrozma again. It's gonna most likely be our our late game sweeper that we can try to get in, hopefully get a W uh, with it. Um, again, pretty much that's Necrozma. Um, this this matchup this week is is a little bit rough. Not as bad as last week. Last week was really bad because Excadrill pretty much just wiped out our whole team. Um, this week is a little bit harder. I mean, it's also hard, not as hard as last week. It's just going to be a bit hard to break down his team, but hopefully we can do it and get Necrozma to win. Uh, next up, we do have Ganesh, the um, Copper Raja. So Copper Raja comes in. We do have Heat Crash, Play Rough, Taunt, Stealth Rock. Um, this thing is good to just set up the rocks. Um, taunt anything that we need to taunt just so it doesn't set up their own rocks or um, have set up or anything like that. Um, that's why we kind of brought Taunt on there. And Heat Crash and Play Rough just pretty much hits his whole team. And that's really all we need. And we have a Chapel Berry on this because one of my plays is most likely going to be... Um, I think he'll probably click Knock Off on a Moongus coming in. And then um, he'll probably click Facade. And I'm thinking of switching out to this thing on the Facade. 
and then living a close combat and doing a lot of damage with play rough. So that's kind of my goal with, with Kaparaja and of course to just set up some nice rocks. Um, next up we do have Ty the Flygon making its debut here for us in the UPBA. Um, we are Choice Scarf, U-Turn, Earthquake, Dragon Claw, Dual Wing B. It kind of, it does really well against everything. Um, again, besides the Bronze Song, we'll have to U-Turn on that just because it gets Levitate. Um, if for some reason he's running a Heat Proof one, that'd be amazing. But I very much highly doubt it. And Flygon's really good just because with the Scarf, it's able to outspeed everything on his team. Um, uh, obviously, that's not Scarf. Even the, the Coco we're outspeeding, so that's always really good. Uh, Dual Wing B is really just there for the Delmise and things like the Heracross. It might catch them off guard thinking he might live like a Dragon Claw and we'll hit him with a Dual Wing B um, and maybe kill that Heracross. But Flygon I think is really cool here for momentum and just to outspeed um, Coco pretty much. Right? Coco? Yes, Coco. <laughs> um, Coco's scary, man. I'm always so scared of that Mon. Um, and this is Amoongus, guys. So Amoongus coming in once again. Um, this week, we are not running Assault Vest. We are going Sludge Bomb, Giga Drain, Spore, and Worry Seed. So uh, Spore, obviously, there to put things to sleep. But Worry Seed is a little cool because just in case we try to he thinks we might spore and he goes into obstagoon that's already burned we can worry seed and that gets rid of his guts which is going to be really really huge uh because him having no guts um his moves are going to be not as effective and they're going to be a lot weaker uh which is always going to be pretty nice so that's kind of like that little tech there obstagoon is just really good against our team and i really am not looking forward to playing against the obstagoon um but that's amoongus uh, we do have rocky helmet to at least try to get a little bit of chip onto that Obstagoon, which I'm, again, I'm pretty sure she's gonna click knockoff and just kill us. So, <laughs> um, next up, we do have our Urshifu. So, Urshifu Rapid Strike. We have Ice Punch, Close Combat, Surgeon Strike, U Turn. Uh, my plan is like the first time this thing is on the field, I feel like almost 100% that Salamence is gonna come in. And I'm thinking it's gonna be a, a enough speed to outspeed my Urshifu with HP. I don't think he'll be defense investment invested. Um, but I'm gonna try to read the switch and our Shifu does carry an expert bell. So even minus one, um, I had a calc here somewhere, even at minus one, it still does 81 to 95, which is really great. And the thing is that even dual wing beat from a Salamence won't be able to, uh, to kill our Shifu. So we will be able to live, uh, dual wing beat and then kill it off with ice punching and getting rid of Salamence will be really huge. Uh, just for the team in general because again across must dragon dance and we want to get rid of the intimidator um so i feel like first time this on the field i'm just gonna click ice punch i don't care <laughs> hopefully hopefully it works out for us though um next up we do have porygon 2 so i did do another um transaction guys that i didn't really talk about um i dropped chancy and i dropped chancy and who was it almost star and i picked up porygon and whirlipede and then I also did some other transfers. Um, I did some swaps with Trog and I let go of Raikou. I let go of Mantine. And then he gave me Chandelure, Regieliki, and another Mon, but I dropped those. So pretty much our new Mons that we have is, we don't have Ninetales anymore. We have Klefki. Um, we don't have Shan, I mean, we don't have Raikou anymore. We have Chandelure. Uh, we don't have Spirit Tomb anymore. We have Sneasel. And we don't have, I think that should be it. Oh, we don't have man time any, anymore. We have Milotic, which is pretty awesome. So uh, a lot of changes are going to be there next week. But this week, we're only bringing um, R2-D2, our Porygon, Ice Beam, Recover, Teleport, Tri-Attack. It's really here to take on Salamence. That's why I'd rather get rid of Salamence as early as possible. Because then I can just use Porygon to take on anything else I wanted to take on. And that's going to be very, very useful. Um, but obviously, Teleport for Momentum, Ice Beam for Salamence and Delmise and other things. And then Tri-Attack just for Stab and Recover to gain health back. Uh, so that's our Porygon team, uh, Porygon team. That's our Porygon 2, and I hope you guys did like the team. We're going to head into the battle. I don't want to keep Lieutenant um, Gold waiting for too long. So we're going to head into the battle, and I'll see you guys there. All right, guys, so we are back, and we are here with the battle. So he brings a lot of different things than I thought. Uh, let me just close my iPad real quick. It's going to distract me. Um, so he brought, wow, he didn't bring the Salamence, which is amazing. Uh, so let me get rid of that. He brought the hail, which could be very scary. Um, let me get rid of bronze song. He brought the obstagoon. Um, let me pick what I'm gonna lead. I still think I'm gonna lead Flygon. I can't really see what else he would lead. So I think I'm gonna lead with the Flygon. 
Yeah, so let's lead Flygon and then go in everything else. My plan was to lead with Flygon um, just in case the Coco leads. Um, but before I click done, let me just put in his team really quick. Um, this is this is going to be a very interesting one. I really am not sure what to think, to be honest. I thought the Raichu would come, and it's extremely scary. Um, but when I was building with with uh, Ricky, he didn't think it was going to come, but it did come. Is there something else? That's, oh, let me hit done. Sorry. Um, is there something else that's missing on his team? Aurorus. So he has Arctosol. Did he not bring Seismitoad? Arctosol. Or did he? I don't know. He brought Aurorus. Okay, so this is what he brought then. Okay, these. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I thought I was missing a man. All right, cool. So he does lead Tapu Koko. And I am honestly just going to click. Uh, does this have like. Uh, what's it called? What's that thing called? Uh, air balloon? No. All right, cool. So I'm just going to click Chukaberry. I mean, <laughs> Earthquake. He might have Chukaberry. And this thing is really good against his team. Um, I'm a little scared because if he's modest Shikaberry, then that might be a little bit bad. But he might be like Terrain Extender, so I'm just going to click Earthquake. Uh, maybe he goes into Seismitoad. Yeah, awesome, perfect. So he'll probably go into... Oh, okay, Herc... Oh, damn, I should have... I should have went for... Uh, do a Wing Beat. But who's going to be able to call that? Oh, but that's a lot of damage. That's some good damage. Good damage to the Heracross. Um, so now... It makes sense him bringing Heracross just because it's pretty scary scary against the Porygon and pretty much the rest of my team, to be honest. <laughs> um, so I think I'm going to go Amoongus, even though I really want to save this thing for the for the Obstagoon. He did bring Obstagoon, right? I forget how to check the other mons for the um, for their team, but I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. As you know, I'm still pretty new to the Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi. So yeah, I knew I had a feeling he'll go knock off. Um, we get chip with Rocky Helmet, which is always good. Um, also, he's life form. Awesome, perfect. Okay, cool. So here, I think we can just spore. I think we might be able to spore here. Maybe he has something with with goggles, but I don't think so. So I think I'm gonna spore here. Maybe he's like sleep talk, which will be kind of cool. Like sleep talk guts. Think you know. Him thinking that we're gonna spore something on his team, so maybe he'll be Obstagoon. Like maybe with Obstagoon, he'll be um, Sleep Talk Guts. So I feel like he'll probably go into Obstagoon right now. So let's see. All right, this thing puts up the hail, and Arctivish is extremely scary. So we might have to save Porygon for Arctivish. Uh, let's see if this thing. Oh, I forget Electric Terrain, you can't. Oh man, I totally forgot about that. That's annoying. Um, so he's probably going to click Ice and Ice Move. Wow, that totally slipped my mind. I think I want to keep this thing for... Oh, I don't know, this is hard. I might just go straight into this. And then click Heat Crash. And then what comes into Heat Crash? Oh, uh, this is a tough, it's a tough move right here. I don't want to go Porygon 2. Oh uh, no, I definitely don't want to go Necrozma. I think I'm going to just go Ganesh. Um, let's see what he ends up clicking. He'll probably click Ice Move, maybe Toxic, thinking I'll go into Porygon. Um, or maybe, I don't know if this thing gets Earth Power. Ooh, Aurora Veil. That's kind of scary. That's pretty scary. Because now, things like his Coco, um, his Heracross are going to be just even more annoying. So what I'm going to click here is Heat Crash. Um, this thing is what? Rock? No, this thing is Rock. Uh, what is it? Rock? Uh, maybe I should put up some Stealth Rocks here, actually. Yeah, I'm going to put up some Stealth Rocks. I think Rocks would be kind of important here. Um, he might hurt our Copper Raja, but he might go into Heracross too. If he goes into Heracross... Should I go back to Amoongus? I feel like I probably will. I don't really know much about this Aurorus, but we know that it's uh, Aurora Veil. And I'm sure it has... Um, what's the 
the ice thing <laughs> to make the to make the hail go longer whatever it is i'm most likely that that's most likely what he has so he does withdraw which is awesome probably into heracross well, what was the name of this obstagoon okay so obstagoon is here and we do have a choppleberry so let's see choppleberry uh he does have reflect up which kind of sucks uh, let's see obstagoon obstagoon guts wall breaker he might click knockoff just to hit our amoongus thinking he might the amoongus might come in again close combat doesn't kill but with an aurora veil up let's see where's aurora veil why can i not oh here it is so let's just do reflect so reflect it doesn't do much the play rough but i'm still gonna click it um because like is this thing not burned interesting i wonder what he's gonna go into maybe coco maybe heracross if he goes heracross that'd be kind of nice i swear we've been parting shot like so much in this league already um was it more pico who was it i forgot who i swear because I remember it happening on Copper Raja like three times. <laughs> so I swear it was the Morpico, I think. I can't remember. So Arc Dissault here. And what did we click again? Play Rough. And we miss it, which is pretty dope. Pretty dope. This thing is what? Electric Ice. Um, So I might just hit Heat Crash. I mean, like, what are we going to go into? Like, we besides Porygon, maybe? Maybe I'll go Porygon. And then just teleport. Uh, let me go Porygon. This Arctazolt. This is really not the team I thought he was going to bring. <laughs> uh, damn, Bulbeak does so much. Yeah, I might just stay in. And click the Heat Crash. Is this thing electric? Like, what is it? Electric Ice. Okay, so Heat Crash should do a good amount. Yeah, I'm just going to press it. Bulbeak's probably going to hurt us a lot. It might even kill. I don't know. Because Copperage is pretty bulky. Ooh, ooh, that does so much. Holy shit. <laughs> so Copperage is out. And the hail does stop. So we can actually go into our, our Shifu, I think. Or even... Because Heracross could come in. Or we just go into our Flygon and U-turn out of. I feel like, I feel like, hold on, let me see. So this thing, the, the hill stopped. Uh, we are a Shifu, we should be faster. Yeah, we are definitely faster. So maybe we just go this thing and click, uh, click uh, close combat. Because I don't think Surging Strikes will do, yeah. Oh, well, actually it does a good amount. Um, but I'm just going to click Close Combat. And we are faster than Heracross too. Um, but I'm just clicking the Close Combat. Or should I click Surging Strikes? Because it might actually kill. It might that Surging Strikes might actually kill. But I'm going to cl click Close Combat. Um, he's probably going to go Coco or Heracross. But this thing is pretty, pretty solid. Alright, so he goes Coco. Gets hit by Rocks, which is pretty good. And we close combat for no damage. Oh yeah, we have a reflect up. I mean, he has an Aurora, Aurora Veil up. Oh my god, I totally forgot about that. No bueno. Alright, so he's probably going to click Dazzling. Um, The Veil is up for pretty long, so let me see. How do you check again? The Veil stuff. Oh, there we go. So he has three turns left, right? That's that's how that that's what that means. Um, so let's do, we're gonna have to go into, I think maybe P2. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go P2. It's really all I can really do. Um, he's either gonna do Dazzle, maybe Toxic. Oh man, I'm, I'm really so out of this game, guys. <laughs> I feel like I'm not, I'm not the best, like, focused right now. Uh, so we get Electric Surge up, which is actually probably not good. <laughs> Um, but what can we really do? What can we really do? So he does click Dazzling, which is great. We take almost nothing from that. And then maybe we teleport here. He still has Veil up. 
Um, so hold on, let me check something real quick. So Veil, there is two more turns. So after this turn, he'll hit us with something. I think I should just teleport. Yeah, I think I'm just going to teleport. I think there'll be one. Oh, smart move, smart move. Smart move, my friend. All right, so we can hit this thing with a try attack. Um, we can't recover. We can't teleport. Um, a try attack would be nice. So what could he go into? Maybe Obstagoon. The Reflect is still up. Maybe he'll go into Aurorus. To set up the hill again. Because that Arctazole is... Oh my god, that shit is too scary for us. Yeah, he's probably going to set up Veil vale again. I wonder if he'll go for Freeze Dry. It's going to be a tough one, definitely. Ooh, try attack, get some damage. Come on, let's get a para. Let's get a para. Come on, Porygon. No? All right, cool, cool. That's fine. <laughs> Veil wore off, so he's definitely going to put it up here again. I want to be so risky and go into Urshifu, like, so badly. But if he clicks Freeze Dry, I'll be in big trouble. Um, and I feel like he's good enough to like make a move like that, but what else am I really gonna do? Uh, I really don't know what else to do. Uh, let me see how much time, 30 seconds. I might just click try attack again, maybe. I feel like he needs to put up the veil. Fuck it. I'm going, I'm going Urshifu. I have to make the play. I have to make some aggressive play. Um, this might be bad. He might just go straight for the freeze dry. Um, but hopefully he doesn't. Oh, he clicks toxic. Okay, that's not too bad. And he doesn't have veil up, which is awesome. Um, and should we go into... I think we might be able to go into... Uh, I think we might be able to U-turn and go into... Actually, Surging Strikes might kill this thing right here, right now. I think I'm going to U-turn. He might, he might stay in, which would really suck. It would really, really suck if he stays in. But him risking... Okay, cool, cool. I was about to say, he risked a CC, that'd be crazy. Panic. Who's Panic? Oh, this thing. Awesome. So we get good amount of chip on this. Damn, that's crazy. Ooh, that is so much damage. And now Flygon should be able to just come in and kill this thing. Maybe it's Scarf though. How fast? I think Flygon's still faster. Uh, let me just make sure how much speed I put on my Flygon. Uh, Flygon has max speed. Okay, cool. So, and I think Obstagoon. I'm gonna check quick because again, I don't want to run out of time. Still trying to get used to this timer stuff. Alright, cool. So I'm gonna go Flygon. And we should be able to kill this thing, I think. An Earthquake. An Earthquake should do a good chunk. We get hit by Hail. And I'm pretty sure he's going to go Arctazole after, though. Oh, we can actually U-turn again. We can actually U-turn again. Instead of... Yeah, so this thing's going to die. And at least Arctazole is not going to be in. We might be able to go to uh, Porygon 2 again. Cool, so Flygon gets his first kill of the season. Pretty awesome, pretty solid. Um, so Arctazole is definitely going to come in. Should we go into P2? Kind of want P2 for the... For the Coco, but I think that's really all we can do. I mean, like, what else are we going to do? Arctazole's going to outspeed everything. Um, I don't think P2 dies. But let's take a look. P2 against Arctazolt. Maybe he'll go Heracross. Alright, so Arctazolt. Yeah, Bulbeak shouldn't. But he does go Heracross. And it gets chipped by rocks and hail, I think. So it is Guts. I'm shocked this hasn't been like Flame or Guts or something like that. I'm just gonna go right back into Amoongus. And I don't really care if he goes... I think I'm gonna go Amoongus. And then... 
<laughs> I don't know. I kind of want to make the switch to Urshifu again. Reading the Auroras. Oh, yeah, spikes. Oh, wow. Interesting. Uh, I really want to make the switch into Urshifu, but do I need to? Do I need to make this switch? Because if Auroras puts the hail, the the veil up again, is hail gone? Yeah, hail is gone. I don't know. I'm so tempted to just go into Ur Urshifu. I think I'm going to do it. Let's do it. Please. Awesome. Perfect. Cool. All right. So I think Auroras is coming in here. Oh, Coco. Damn it. Why are they gonna be Coco? <laughs> God damn it. Did he read? Oh, because he wanted to search. Oh, damn it. I should have thought of that. I should have thought of that for sure. So we go to Shifu here. Damn, that would have been so nice if. If I just stayed in. But I think we go Porygon here. Can't really do much. Much else. Uh, so let's go Porygon, I think. Should we go Porygon? Yeah. I mean, it's kind of the only thing that might live a hit from Arctazolt, so maybe not. But he doesn't have the hail, the longer hail, so... Maybe we can just go Amoongus. Yeah, let's go Amoongus. Let's just go Amoongus. I think that's fine. He'll probably Volt Switch. He'll probably Volt Switch not thinking that Flygon will come in. Or your U-turn. He could just U-turn also. Dazzling Gleam. Alright, cool. He could also have Brave Bird. But we'll see about that. Um, should I... I think I should Sludge Bomb maybe. Or I think I'll just Giga Drain. What else does he have on his team again? He has the Toad. Uh, yeah, I think I'm just gonna Giga Drain. We can get some chip on the Aurorus. Which I think will set up Aurora Veil again for 8 turns, which really sucks. <laughs> I wonder if Aurora's is faster than than this thing. Yeah, Aurora's does come in, gets hit by rocks, right? And I think that should... No, that's not super effective, right? And we get... Yeah, let's see how fast, because... Am I minus speed? No, I'm not minus speed for this Amoongus. This should do a decent chunk, I think. Yeah, perfect. So Aurora's, how much speed? 58, god damn it. I feel like I won't live a blizzard. I mean, I do live a... No, I don't live a blizzard. I feel like he'll go... I really don't want him to go Veil. But I feel like that's what he's gonna do. I think I'm gonna click Giga Drain. This could be risky. I could just go into a Shifu again, to be honest. Oh, I'm running out of time. Oh, I suck with this timer stuff so much. Uh, I think I'm gonna go to Shifu just cause um, Amoongus is kind of more important. Oh, Arctazolt. Okay. Gets hit by rocks. Alright, alright. Do we sack our Shifu here? That's the question. I mean, he has to go for an electric move, right? He has to go for an electric move here. Uh, I don't want to sack Flygon. I think Flygon just wins for us. Um, so we might have to sack our Shifu. Um, yeah, I think I'm just gonna sack their Shifu. Surging strikes work. Maybe just close combat. Oh, I'm really getting close on time. Okay, I'm really just gonna have to click my moves. I think I might lose the timer. <laughs> so he hits the uh, that thing, and I think Porygon can live maybe Porygon can you live maybe so Arctazo is how much speed does Arctazo have damn this 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 team is tough it's tough we might actually die here we might actually die here but I think I'm gonna click recover 
I think we might die to a bolt beak here. Did we see if it was life orb? Wow, he hit all of them. Doesn't this thing get hustle or something? Damn, this sucks. Arctazole just kind of wrecks our team. Alright, so... I really don't know what to do. We're kind of just sacking everything. We might have to sack Amoongus, let that thing die, and then go to Necrozma and start setting up and try to win that way. Because what do we have left on his team? Yeah, we can do that, actually. Alright, so I'm going to go Amoongus. And I think that's the last turn of Hail. I'm not sure. Like, after he kills Amoongus. I should probably keep keep tabs on that. My timer's almost out, though. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much done for. I'm just going to click Sludge Bomb. Let this thing die. Go Necrozma. Yeah, I suck. I really got to keep a, a better eye on the timer. It was hard to make my moves here because his team is so good. Um, If I make one wrong move, I could just die. Alright, so Icicle Spear is going to kill us, of course. Uh, Does that even kill us? Does this thing get like... What ability? This gets Slush Rush, right? So... Yo, it hit. It really hit every single... <laughs> That's not fair, man. Come on. It hit every single... <laughs> uh, Icicle Spear. Alright, so Hail stopped. And I think now we go Necrozma and start trying to set up. Yeah. I don't know. Do we even live? Alright, real quick. Cloud, cow, come on. Come on, Necrozma. Ooh, I don't think we live. Oh wait, this is level 100. Uh, oh, we live. Awesome, cool. All right, so let's swap. Uh, freak, I'm so nervous right now. This could be the end, but I feel like he needs to save Arctozol. So I might be able to Dragon Dance twice, actually. So what does he have left? Obstagoon is gone, so I'm gonna move that to the end. Oh, I need to go quick. Oh man, I'm gonna lose, aren't I? Because of timer. God damn it. Because <laughs> I could possibly bring it back with Necrozma. Uh, what is he... If he misses a move, that'd be kind of nice. Can he miss a move? Like, accent, like, oh, Bulldoze. Okay, interesting. Oh, this drops your speed. Oh, that's trash. I, I think I need to kill this thing. So I'm gonna... Photon Geyser. I'm gonna waste no time, guys. No time at all. This should kill, I think. Yeah, perfect. All right, so Necrozma gets a kill, which is pretty dope. Uh, we don't have to worry about the speed anymore. So our speed went up, but he put it back down. Now he's gonna go into Coco, but I really think it's literally impossible for me to beat all his mods unless I click a move right away. I'm literally gonna have to just click moves straight off the bat. What would he go into now? Coco, so Arctozol is gone. Uh, well, I could have just put it at the end. I feel like he has to go Coco. Oh, he goes Heracross. So this thing's gonna kill us. Uh, and I think we just go Photon Geyser. Screw it, man. Screw it. Or maybe I should have Dragon Dance. Maybe I should have Dragon Dance. Maybe a knockoff does. Oh, no, he has Mega Horn. That'll probably kill us, right? I don't know. I can't calc right now, so. <laughs> uh, let's go Heracross. It is Guts. It is knockoff. That would probably. Oh, it doesn't die. Okay, cool. So maybe I could have just um, DD'd one more time. And I think I would have still. Nah, I don't think we outspeed. Um, wait, what does he have left? He has the Seismitoad, the Raichu. Right? Yeah, Raichu, right? Or am I just imagining stuff? <laughs> All we have left is what? Flygon? And I'm literally just going to click EQ every single time. I think Seismitoad gets Ice Beam, right? So Electric Surge, he'll be able to go into Raichu. Yeah, so this should be a win for him. Um, we at least got... Wait, well, he doesn't have the Raichu, right? He has the... There's something that I messed up here. Because he had Heracross and I didn't I didn't click it. Um, so I don't... He either doesn't have Seismitoad or Raichu. But I feel like I saw the Raichu. So I think it's... He doesn't have Seismitoad. But we'll see. Because all we have left is the Flygon. And all we can click is EQ, and we're pretty much out of time anyways. Um, 
I think so. All right, yeah, we have six seconds, Earthquake. This should be a GG for him. Maybe with timer I could have possibly done it. <laughs> if I had like maybe 20 more seconds. Um, but it's okay. Like, again, these games have been pretty close. And me losing is not the biggest thing to me. Just because taking over a team is pretty tough. Um, so me just trying to get as many wins as possible would be great. Um, hopefully we can bring it back though. That'd be cool. Not this game though. Because we literally have what, like four seconds? <laughs> So we EQ here, he has plenty of time to think, I should have not took so long to think, my head is just like out of it right now so it took me so long to just make my moves. But this has been a pretty fun game. I have I think 4 seconds. <laughs> so we earthquake this thing, it's dead. And then what else does he have? Raichu and Aurorus and Heracross maybe? Did I kill Heracross? No, just Raichu and Aurorus. Okay. I might I think I might have been actually able to win if I had time. Maybe we can click this so fast. Like super fast, you know? Alright, fast. Earthquake, come on. Two seconds left, guys. Two seconds left. This thing's still gonna outspeed us. Oh, interesting. I think he's playing timer, like. Maybe. I don't know. So that thing dies. And literally, we have two seconds to click this. And I'm just going to click it so fast. I'm going to click it so fast. <laughs> I think it should already be on Earthquake. So that's I'm just literally just clicking A twice. Let's go, let's go. I'm just clicking. Literally, I'm spamming A right now. Come on, come on. Earthquake. Did it work? Did I lose? Did I lose? Did I already lose the timer? I feel like that took less than a second. Please. Please get it off. Come on, Flygon. Please. I don't think Dazzling kills, but it might. If he's Life Orb, it probably does. I didn't even see how much health we had, to be honest. He does Psy Shock. Does this kill us? Please don't kill us. Please. Please. Yes. Flygon did it. Let's go. <laughs> let's go. He's not Shookaberry, right? Oh, let's go, bro. I think I had like one second left on the timer. Oh my god. I can't believe it. That was beautiful, Flygon. Does he have one more Pokemon or am I just tripping? Oh, I won, bro. <laughs> I cannot believe this, guys. If you if if any game deserves a like, it's got to be this one. We Flygon literally brought it back for us. I had a feeling it would, but I thought timer was going to run out before I could even get through the whole game. Um so I was extremely slow on timer. Um extremely slow on timer, but we, I think I only had one second left. Oh my god. So I gotta fix the whole timer thing, but we really did bring it back. And the Crossma did some good work for us to be able to at least get rid of two Mons. Um, even though he had Bulldoze, which was I thought was pretty cool. Um, but Flygon, Choice Scarf Flygon comes in and just clicks Earthquake multiple times and gets the win. So guys, if you guys are so souped about that one, please, please, please leave a nice fat like and subscribe if you are new that was super hype guys i cannot believe i won that i literally was just spamming eight because i knew i had two seconds left and all i needed to do is get off that earthquake and i would have been solid and we did it we win so we get the win i really did not think we were gonna win first of all arctozole destroyed us i feel like he should have kept arctozole if he didn't sack it i think that he could have brought in oh no aurora's died so Hale wouldn't be able to come in so never mind he couldn't do that anyway so he made the right move uh flygon gg mvp did it so well for us killed like three mons i think um so give it up for flygon make sure you do drop a nice like for flygon let me know what you guys thought of the battle let's have a chat in the comment section and i'll see you guys there and um, i'm excited for next week so we'll be there for next week so thank you guys for the support and i'll see you next time peace